Okay, so we're here at 303 Cedar Springs. I had to start over because big tractor was like trying to squash my car. So I still got a little bit of ways to go on this. You can see this side of the street is still very actively being built. Um, right across here, you've got Needmore Road, where this neighborhood is off of. Clarksville Speedway is over there. Um, I don't know how active it is. There are rumors that the city is purchasing it. So we'll have to see what happens there. Cardinal Creek is actually, you know, I mentioned that neighborhood because I saw one or two of the new builds over there pop up in the MLS, and that is backs up directly to it. Okay. So we've got eight foot ceilings down here. This would be your living room. You can see they've started electrical. He said they should have it painted in the next two days. Okay, I need more. Okay. Over here we got the kitchen. Sink will go here. Fridge will go here. This will be your pantry. Coat closet back here, right behind the back door. I'll have to ask about all the selections. Okay, so it looks like your dishwasher is probably going to go close to the sink. This will probably be your range. And then microwave up there. So, try to paint that picture. Okay, directly off the kitchen, you have your half bath. So toilet will go over here. And this will be your sink. Since they don't have electric, I can't turn on lights. And then right off of the kitchen and your half bath, you're gonna have your garage access here. So you'll go straight into the laundry. Just one small little step down. Okay, water heater is gonna go over there. The breaker box is going to be immediately on your right. Just standard two-car garage, nothing crazy. Okay, but then when you come in the garage, you'll have your laundry right here. So you have washer on the left, dryer on the right. Good size laundry space too. Okay, going back to the kitchen, show you the backyard. Okay, so you're probably going to have, I'm not sure if they'll do a deck or a patio, to be honest. So we'll probably just have to find out and see what they end up doing. Looks like they'll probably do a patio just by looking at these over here. some good space with the people behind you especially if there are fences going in you can see on this side this is where the completed ones are almost completed okay now let me take you upstairs you see where they have the banister okay very spacious hallway up here hey sorry this will be your ensuite. Closet one. Nothing crazy. Okay, we'll come over here towards the front of the house. This will be your bathroom. Okay, so you'll have Vanity here, toilet over here. And it looks like they're just doing a single vanity. So single vanity, toilet, shower. These are what the interior doors look like. And here's closet number two, the walk-in. 
go a little bit over here. And it also goes back over here. Okay, moving on to secondary bed and bath. Sorry. That's all right. All right. Well, it's time I got some sun. <laughs> I know, right? All right? Guest bed number one. Honestly, really good size. You could comfortably fit a queen size mattress in here. A couple of nightstands, dresser. Yes, ma'am. Looks into the backyard. Burn. Burn. Um, was... right, cool. Decent closet. Okay, guest bath. You're going to have a shower tub combo, single vanity, toilet. Okay, and then at the end of the hall, you're gonna have guest bed number two. Once again, great size, new construction. They actually tend to be a little smaller and these are actually really good size up here. So both guest rooms in the ensuite are facing, uh, or I guess this one's facing directly at front, other one's facing on the side. Okay, closet, nothing crazy. Just gonna be a single door. Hanging closet, can't walk into it, but you do get those two closets in the ensuite. Okay, attic is in between the two guest rooms. So you got guest one, guest two, guest bath. Okay, ensuite. Some nice roof access back here, a little drinking spot, and with patio. And that is it.